Uh, people should switch off their mobile phones. Uh, I think it was very, very energetic to start the meeting with, considering there are so many people today, we needed that high energy uh, introduction. So a big round of applause for you. One suggestion I have more for you, which I noticed, uh, you did mention one particular language. It said some time ago I read somewhere that visualizing your goals will help you uh, get to your goals very quickly. Now when you say sometime, somewhere, it means that you really haven't read it. Somebody told you and you're just saying it because somebody said it to you. <laughs> so you need substance. You need substance to convince yeah. me or convince your audience of where did you read it, who did you read it from, what book was it? So one suggestion to you or anybody here who is going to come and speak or who is going to talk to anybody ever, if you really, really want to convince them, tell them that you read it. Give them proof that you have read it. That's going to be nice. Yeah. So a big round of applause for you. <laughs> Master Dr. Rajdeep Manmani, who is the current president of our club. What a fantastic person. He inspires me every time I'm here at the club, and he's one of the reasons why I come to the club every time it's possible for me to come. It's not my speeches, it's how he relates every story to each one of us here, be it anybody's story or his own story that inspires me. And I think he did the same with a lot of you. Did he not? Yes. yes. Brilliant. So please give him a big round of applause. Thank you very much, uh, then was our secretary for today, Muhammad Mujassim, who uh, came and read out the minutes of meeting. There were a couple of corrections which uh, our president corrected uh, Muhammad Mujassim. And uh, I thought everything was in order because everybody approved whatever that was correct. So a big round of applause for you to do that. <laughs> so though, then there was one important person who introduced me and compared me to the report. So how can I forget it? <laughs> That was our MC Mahavir Jain. Now Mahavir, there you are. Um, one of the things that I really, really like about you, now, one thing that you really have to know about him, no matter what sort of feedback I'm going to share with him, that he was doing it for the first time. For a first timer to stand here, introduce seven speakers back to back, it can get a little monotonous. But I think you handled it really, really well in terms of how you are introducing each speaker. And after each speech was done, you had something to comment about. And there were some humorous nudges, which I think brightened up everybody who was sitting there and listening to all the seven speakers. So another round of applause. Uh, I think you were very well prepared in terms of how you wanted to introduce your speakers. That was handled really, really well. You know what you wanted to say. So the introduction of speakers was very, very clear. There was one little feedback that I wanted to share with you, but I already did share with you during the break, so I don't think so. I want to share with everybody here. Uh, that worked for you really well. Uh, now, a couple of things uh, that are really stood out for me was how you started the meeting with uh, asking questions. Do you know how storytelling started? I've actually never thought about it. Yet. I have never asked myself, being a trainer, I tell stories to people. I have never asked myself, how did storytelling start? And that caught my attention as soon as he asked that question to all of us. And I think I see a lot of heads shaking here saying that really has caught my attention. So I think that was done brilliantly in how you came to the art of storytelling. And I was thinking you're going to connect that to the theme of the meeting. You didn't do that. <laughs> the president already did that. You did not have to do that. So he did not make it monotonous. You connected to how Ralph C. Smedley created Toastmasters International, which was brilliantly done. That was amazing about how you handled it today. So a big round of applause for you, please. Uh, just a couple of, uh, just one thing that I have for you. Now, when you notice that there is, as an MC, your role is to check, manage the time, and manage the speakers, and manage anybody who's going to come on the stage, just to check the time and uh, cut down on your content if you have extra content. So that is some, that's some sort of flexibility if you can develop for your next MCing roles. I think that would be brilliant so that we wouldn't go to 8.45. I think I have taken so much time. Thank you very much for Thank giving me this opportunity. Yes, uh, I had, at the beginning I introduced three people to you who said we're going to help me with what I'm doing today. So may I request our timer to quickly give out the report of timing here from where you are?